I need a grocery store treat. It's like my small luxury in life, okay? Good morning, my friends. We are once again heading to the grocery store because one thing that I wanna try and be better at this year is not wasting groceries. Oh my God, there's a rainbow. Wow! It's like a cotton candy rainbow. It's gone behind the trees. Okay, that was beautiful. However, so one thing that I'm trying to be better at this year is not wasting groceries and not stockpile. I grew up in an ingredient household, as people are saying these days, which if you don't know, basically when you grew up in a house where you just, you know, buy ingredients to make things and not like pre-made snacks and stuff like that. So I've definitely inherited that trait. My mom always had the cupboards like fully stocked, the fridge and the freezer fully stocked. And I've kind of fallen into that as well. Whereas I don't, I don't really need to be like that. You know what I mean? We're not a family of five. We're just my husband and I, like we don't, I'm not feeding children. We don't need to be stocked. We can go to the grocery store while we need for fresh things. Um, so I'm getting better at eating my perishables, definitely. Our fridge is not generally that stocked too well, uh, just kind of what I'm gonna need for the week. So I've definitely gotten better at that. Definitely gotten better at eating greens before they go bad and then just throwing them out. But one thing that I'm bad at is just buying like dry goods and like pantry staples or fun things that I don't really need, but I'm just like, oh, let's buy that. That looks like a thing I should have in my house. So I'll try not to do that. So this week I have given myself a strict $50 budget. I guess what, bitch? <laughs> for groceries because generally I'll go to the store and I'll have like a rough list, kind of rough idea of what kind of stuff that I want to get. And then I'll get there and I leave and I've spent 80 to hundred dollars on like, I don't even know what. So I've just given myself a strict $50 budget today. That's all I can spend. It's a little scary because I am somebody who is kind of weird about brands sometimes and textures of like certain brands. So there's some things where I just simply cannot buy the store brand item because it's not as good to me and I can't, I can't do it. I know I'm a, I'm a princess. I'm a, I'm a little, little baby princess. I can't handle it. So there's certain things like that that I know that I'm going to be buying today, like salty crackers. If you try and tell me that like store brand or like target brand salty crackers are as good as premium plus, we're going to fight. We're fighting. That's all I can say because they're always kind of stale They're never as salty. So premium plus, that's where it's at. And that's where I will spend my premium dollars. Basically, I'm just trying not to overbuy groceries. I've taken stock of what I have in the house right now and what I can combine into like meals and stuff for this week. Basically what it's gonna come down to is just not buying snacks and like fancy things that I usually like to buy and I'm not going to, like my yogurts that are, I guess they're not that expensive. They're like $2 each, so that's not crazy, but those are things that I'm leaving out of my grocery pickup. Also things like fresh bag of coffee. I know that I'm getting low, but I also know <laughs> that I have like three bags that are almost empty that are probably so stale by now, but I don't want to waste them. So we're not going to buy a fresh bag of coffee. I'm going to use what we have and I'm going to deal with it. Right into the danger zone. Right into the danger zone. Woo! Mm. The grocery store is the danger zone, you guys, because I love grocery shopping. I love it. I love going to the store. I love looking at all the fun food. I love having a cart full of food when I don't need a cart full of food. So it's my danger zone, okay? Sorry. I love the grocery store. I love shopping. I love going to new stores. I don't love spending too much money on groceries that I don't need and I'm not going to eat. So we are heading right into the danger zone. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I failed. <laughs> I spent more than fifty dollars. <laughs> oh no. 
so I spent more than $50. Uh, I'm an idiot <laughs> when I was doing my like rough online grocery tally. I forgot to factor in tax. So, you know. Wait, is there even fucking tax on this shit? Did I buy anything that had tax? I didn't. What the hell? What the hell, you guys? Anyways, I spent way more than $50. $19 over budget. So that's great. But also, the self-checkout was not open. And I specifically come to this grocery store because I like the self-checkout. Because they don't pack the bags the way that I like. And that made me angry. <laughs> But what am I gonna do? Like, oh, can I, can you, like, is it okay for me to just ask if I can pack my own bags? Like, I don't even know. And then she gave me, like, two paper bags when I didn't need any. Like, jam it all in one bag, lady. I know it's gonna fit. I've done it before. Ugh, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go home and I'll show you everything we got. So we're back from getting groceries. Uh, we're doing a little grocery haul in the dining room today because the kitchen is too dark at the moment. Anyway, just deal with it. It's fine. So like I said, I went over budget. $19 over budget to be specific. And I think there's two reasons why this happened. One, because as I got there, the self-checkouts were not working at all. And then the lady was also saying how the rewards weren't working. When I was putting my list together on their like online shopping thing on the website, um, I think that was including like rewards prices. And so things that were on sale, I didn't actually get for that price. And so that increased the cost for some things. Some things, I just, I don't know why. Like where did this $19 come from? Where did the $19 come from? I don't know. The only thing that I bought that wasn't on my list was a package of cream cheese for $2.79. So I just don't know. Anyway, let's go through and see what we got and how much it all was. So I don't know if anybody else is as crazy as I am, but when I write my grocery list, I always write it out in the way of how I'm going to walk through the store. So I always have like produce first, meat second, um, like dairy and eggs, uh, it's like third section, and then like the inside aisles for like dry goods. So I just have like a really efficient route for shopping, you know? I just, I love my grocery shopping efficiency. So it just makes it a lot easier when I know what I'm trying to get and what I need to get and where I need to go to get those things. So let's see what I bought for $69, not $50. So we're starting off with our produce. Bananas, because I love bananas. Bananas are just a great little snack to have. The bananas were, how much are bananas? 69 cents a pound, and we got 3.47 pounds for $2.39 for our bananas. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bananas for $2.39. That's a pretty good price. Next up, we have our classic, just some greens. These are $3.99, pretty much $3.99 at every store I've ever gone to. I like that. Sometimes they go on sale and that's sick, but they don't usually go on sales. $3.99 for a little thing of greens. This will give me like two salads, basically. Not bad. And I bought a head of cabbage. The cabbage was 99 cents a pound, and I think this is a 2.32 pound cabbage, which brings our price to $2.30. Next up we have our meats. Now I've said before that I don't really like meat that much, but I'm still eating like a little bit of it and certain chicken I'm okay with. So today we just picked up a little package of deli turkey because I like to make little sandwiches and I think turkey is a great little protein source to just like throw into your day, why not? This was for a one pound package of turkey, $7.99. These used to be $5.99 before all this inflation bullshit went crazy. $7.99 now for this and it's wild. I also picked up a, how big is this? One pound little package of pork sausage because I want to make um, a little like egg roll in a bowl meal, which is super fast, super easy, pretty cheap in general to make and makes a butt ton. So that'll be a fun little meal to have later in the week. And how much was our pork sausage? What? Apparently it was $6.49 and I thought it was $5. So there's an extra almost $2. Next up for meats, I got a nice package, two and a half pounds of frozen chicken breast tenderloins. These I find are okay in texture. Generally they aren't, like they don't have that woody breast feeling. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. And that drives me insane. I will just like, I can't eat that. That's disgusting, it freaks me out, I can't do it. So this was $11.99. This was our most expensive item that we bought today. Next up for our dairy type items, we got lactose free milk that I am enjoying. It's like high in protein, lower in sugar, and lactose free, can't go wrong. How much was this? This was $4.99. I thought it was on sale, apparently it wasn't. I don't know what's going on with all these things. All their prices are different than what I ended up paying, so what the hell? 
and I picked up some pre-sliced cheese. And you might be thinking, why are you spending money on pre-sliced cheese when you can just get a block and cut it yourself? They're literally the same price for the same amount of cheese at my grocery store, so why would I not? It's like, I think 20 cents more to have my cheese pre-sliced for the exact same amount. And I'll do that. I will spend 20 extra cents to have my cheese pre-sliced in a perfect sandwich size, rather than having to cut little tiny slices of cheese that fall out of your sandwich every time you try to take a bite. All right, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. I'm rich, you guys. I bought 12 eggs. One dozen eggs was $5.19 at our grocery store here, which is just absolutely insane. And everybody knows there is a wild inflation going on in eggs right now. They used to be like 99 cents for 12, and now $5.19 was the cheapest 12 large eggs that I could get at the store. My little cream cheese, my splurge, my $2.79 that I did not account for initially. Cream cheese. Love it. Just a simple bottle of vegetable oil because I wanted to make my own mayonnaise rather than buy mayonnaise. Uh, but this was really expensive. <laughs> oil used to be like $2.99 for this size. And now, how much did I pay for this? This was $4.59. I compared two different grocery stores this morning. I compared like a larger chain that's in a bigger city. It's about 30 minutes away from me. And then I compared to this little grocery store that I went to, which is a smaller chain in a smaller city. And the oil prices here are way higher than like everywhere else. I don't really understand why, but for comparison, this same size olive oil, just in a different store brand, is only like $3 at the bigger store, whereas it's almost $5 at this store. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Why, where do they get these prices from? Who's deciding them? Now for the second most expensive thing that I bought today, bread. I love sandwiches and I was like, if I am not getting anything fun in this grocery shop today, I wanna get one thing that I know I'm going to really, really love. And that is this bread, which is $7.79 for a one pound loaf of bread. One pound nine ounces actually. So that's not like too crazy, but I really like this bread. It makes great toast, makes great sandwiches, and it's got lots of seeds and stuff in it and a little bit less sugar than like most other breads. I did notice there was like a different competitor brand for this at our store for almost $2 less, but it does have more sugar in it. And it seems like softer and fluffier. And water was the first ingredient compared to on this one, the whole grain flour is the first ingredient. Not really sure what the difference is. Maybe one day we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison taste test. <laughs> and our last two items we got, I just got one little can of tuna so that I can make tuna and saltines because that's a delicious little snacky lunch. And my saltines, my premium. I keep calling them premium plus because in Canada they're called premium plus, but here they're just premium. So premium saltines, like I said in the car, store brands just do not hit. They don't hit. They're always a little bit stale. They never have as much salt. And these are the ones that I love very, very much. Very, very much. So like I mentioned, I kind of compared two different stores that like I frequent often and they ended up being, I did their little like online grocery shopping to make lists for each of them that have their updated prices and everything. And this store, it ended up being like $2 more, I think than the other store. However, it's way closer to us. And also they accept upside. So I get 9% cash back when I shop there, which is awesome. I love you upside, please sponsor me because I already have $50 cash back. <laughs> love that shit. So yeah, it's just really bizarre how some grocery stores have like random items that would be way more expensive there, but then like way cheaper somewhere else. And just like the oil was way more expensive here than it was at the other store. Eggs were more expensive here than at the other store. Um, bread was cheaper at this store than the other store. Um, crackers were cheaper at this store than the other store. Just like weird stuff like that. Like where do they get their prices from? Where do they make them up? I don't know. There's a whole grocery industry that's just a mystery to us and we'll never really know. So yeah, I chose this store simply because the other store takes me... We live about 30 minutes away from anything major, basically. And so going to the other bigger store that does have some cheaper items is a one hour and 10 minute round trip. And that gas is crazy because gas is still expensive. We all know that. And I already spend so much money on gas just driving to work that if I can save a little bit and go a little closer, spend a tiny bit more, but then also get 9% cash back, that's the option that I'm going to choose. I honestly feel like sad that this ended up costing me $69. Nice. $19 over our initial strict budget that we set for ourselves because I, I love grocery shopping. I love going to the store. I love seeing like what's new, what's cool, fun new things to try, like getting ideas for new stuff that I wanna make and not being able to like indulge in that and just like be like ooh that's a new thing i want to try that like oh that looks cool i've always wanted to try that and i can't i couldn't do that today i couldn't do that it was very upsetting and i think that it's like goes back to my childhood like you know when you're a kid and you go grocery shopping with your parents 
and you'd be like, oh, can we get this? And then they're like, no, it's not on the list. Sorry, we're not getting that today. Or like, mom, can we get this this treat? Like, no, we have treats at home. But then the treats at home are like Nutri-Grain bars and it's never the same. It's not what you want. So like, as soon as I was an adult and I could afford to buy things that I wanted to try and I thought were cool, like I would do it. And I still do it and I love it. And it brings me joy and happiness to be able to have this fun stuff. But today I could not. And that's <laughs> really upsetting to me. <laughs> Like I just wanted to buy a kombucha and they were $4.49 and I was like, we cannot. That is so expensive. We are not getting that. We're not spending almost $5 on a little drink. I can't do it. I just can't. But it like makes me feel sad. And also for $69, keep in mind this was like mostly for one person, mostly just for me because my husband has his own little way of eating and we're generally only together for like one meal a day per week. Like a couple times a week, I'll make like a communal meal for us, but this is kind of just like things that I'm gonna be eating and snacking on and not necessarily just groceries for two people. So I'd say this is like maybe groceries for one and a half people. And you'll notice that most of the things that I bought are just like things that I can throw together easily. So like with all of this, I can make like salads. I'll be able to make my little egg roll in a bowl, which is so good. Make some sandwiches, make some toast. <sighs> Tuna and crackers, so delicious. And yeah, the, some of the other things that I bought are going to go with things that I've already had in my house when I did inventory to make sure I wasn't gonna overbuy. Like I can have chicken and sweet potatoes and I know that I have a sweet potato, so I didn't buy any. Bananas and toast. I have peanut butter, so I'm not gonna buy peanut butter. Make oatmeal with my milk and bananas and I already have oats, so I don't need to buy oats. Just like little things like that where I tend to be like, oh, I wanna have this this week, but then I don't check to make sure. I don't like double check that we have some of the staples and then I end up accidentally buying them again and then having doubles. It doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen to the point where it's too much. And also, like I said, I'm so much better now at eating my like perishable goods without letting them go bad in the fridge, like vegetables and salad greens and stuff like that. Um, so that's, Great, we're making progress on that front. And now the front we need to make progress on is just not overbuying like dry goods like crackers and bread and oil, stuff like that. Really upset that we didn't even stick to our $50. Like how this was all $69 just blows my mind. I cannot handle it. And I'm obviously very aware that I am like in a lucky position where I can't afford this. And like being able to go over my $50 budget that I set for myself is like really, like I'm really glad that I'm able to do that. And I know there are so many people where if they had gotten to the checkout and they had $50 of what like their total was going to be, but then like the lady said of the cash, the rewards weren't working. So that takes off a huge chunk of the savings. And so you would end up having to put stuff back at the checkout. And like that can just be embarrassing sometimes, or, you know, you just don't want to have to deal with that. So I'm very lucky that it's okay for me to go $19 over budget, even though I didn't want to. I don't know, maybe next week, next time I go, I'll try to really, really plan out everything down to a T that I'm going to be eating so that I can utilize the stuff that I have in my house way more and then not really have to buy anything except maybe like fresh stuff. I think that would be a fun little challenge for myself to try and do is like meal planning for the week, but mostly using 80% of stuff I already have in the house. That sounds fun. I think I'd like to do that. How much are groceries in your area? Or do you live in like a really high cost living area? After our mortgage payments, groceries are my number one thing that I spend money on. And I guess that's kind of okay because food really brings me a lot of joy and happiness. I don't know. How much do you usually spend on groceries a week? I'm really interested to know about like what area you live in and how much your groceries are a week. I know that I went and I bought like store brand items, not store brand, um, like premium. What is it? What are these called? Name brand, like the crackers. We already talked about why I love these crackers. I can't have another brand. And there aren't any other lactose free milks that are as high in protein and low in sugar. So I just, what am I doing? I know I'm just splurging because I can. Anyway, I should put these groceries away and have breakfast because I am starving, which is probably another reason why I'm like cranky that I didn't get to get a treat at the grocery store today. I just love to get a treat at the store, all right? So I'm probably just gonna have some toast and peanut butter and a banana, maybe a little scrambled egg on the side. I don't know. Shocked, honestly, that I wasn't able to stay at $50. Well, only a little bit shocked because I just know how crazy food prices have been getting lately everywhere in the country. And I know that I spend a lot of money on groceries, but it still was like, I thought for sure we could do this. I was like, $50 seems okay for a week for like one and a half people. Apparently it's not. <laughs> I probably could have done without the ground sausage, the ground pork um, and the turkey breast. And that would have saved me almost, almost the $19 and the cream cheese. If I took out the turkey, 
the ground sausage and the cream cheese, that's probably my $19 I would have saved for 50. And that would have been okay. I can deal without deli meat. But then what's the point in buying the cabbage? I'm not gonna make my egg roll in a bowl with ground pork. I just don't know. Anyway, that's crazy. I love grocery shopping. I had a really sad time today grocery shopping, not being able to buy fun stuff in a sweet treat. This is really upsetting. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I'm just upset. I'm just upset. I need a treat. I need a grocery store treat. It's like my small luxury in life, okay? It's to get like fun treats at the grocery store. <laughs> that is my luxury. Thank you for watching my grocery video. Let me know. What are groceries like in your area? Is it super expensive? How do you save money? Like, would you have any little tips and tricks to save some money when you're doing grocery shopping? Uh, maybe I need them. Maybe I need some tips and tricks so I can spend less on other stuff and then splurge a little bit more on my fun things that I like. I don't know. Let me know your tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.